Thank you, thank you. Oh, I appreciate you. I love you. And now I must go in the line and beard the line because he says he wants to talk to me and he's real serious and I done told you I love him and I would like to know what is on your mind, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. How are you? I'm fine, Jerry. Well, I'll tell you what is on my mind. You have hurt me bad, deeply. I'm shocked. Well, did you get on this show? This Jim Ed Brown show here thing, Nashville Traveling, whatever you call it. Yeah, right? yeah. And set out here with some funny looking whale or seal, something that flops his things like that and, and say, you remind me of one of my dear friends, Jerry Reed, huh? Yeah, but I was just joking. I didn't mean no harm. I didn't know you'd take another, it personal. Now, on another occasion, did you do a show, syndicated fishing show, with a friend of ours, mutual friend named Bill Dance? You remember that? Yes, I don't know. Hush. Were you in Nashville, Tennessee, fishing for rockfish? Hmm? Yeah. And did you catch a fish and look at the camera and say, Eat your heart out, Jerry Reed. Did you say that? Yeah, but Jerry's a great... Inferring that you're a better fisherman than me? Did yeah, but you do I, that? I didn't know you'd take it personal. And when I was in Jackson, Mississippi, one morning, uh, one evening, did I call you and say, Jerry, I want to go fishing? You said, all right. You come got me at 6 the next morning, didn't you? Mr. A.B. Ferris. Right, Mr. A.B. Ferris. And we went out to Ross Barnett Reservoir, didn't we? Yeah, I went with you, Jerry. But you Jerry's, right? Yeah, I was with you. And we was fishing, weren't we? Right. And I fished till 6 o'clock, didn't I? Yeah. And what time did you leave? I had to go see my doctor about my diverticulitis. I right. didn't fish but till noon. You you left at noon. Right. And you tell everybody better you're a better fisherman than me. I stayed till six o'clock. So what'd you catch? What I catch? Yeah. Well, we didn't catch nothing. Well, you fished all day and didn't catch nothing, and I fished till noon and didn't catch nothing. That makes me twice as good a fisherman as you. <laughs> Why don't you take up singing? He thinks he's got the last straw, see. But I saved this especially for him. This is a song that I dedicate to Mr. Jerry Clower, and it's called With His Pants in His Hands. <laughs> and it goes like this. One, two, pick it, boys. town so sincere beautiful girl young musketeer but then comes along old paul revere and says hey the red coats are here well son yes with his pants in his hand Plays it slyer than a fox. About the time he gets right down to his socks, he hears a key in the front door lock. She invited him inside. Well, how was he supposed to know she was a bride? But then her husband knocked that front door down. Well, you ought to see him go get out of town. Sing it, girl. Home of the brave. Yeah, but when his hide he's trying to save, that boy ain't gonna turn around away. Right down through history he runs, dodging an arrow and a gun. And no matter what the people have to say, 